Hey guys, Blazing here. Today, I bring a different type of video. Today, I want to talk about Payday. If you don't know what Payday is, it's a 4 player co-op first person shooter where you play as robbers versus endless waves of cops. But today, I want to talk about Payday 3. Now even though this is my first Payday video, I've got a history with Payday 2. Specifically on the ungodly amount of time I spent on that game. So, what do I want to see going into Payday 3? Well, let's start with things that I like from the two previous games that are already good and that I want to see Overkill continue. First, I think most importantly, is to make sure the launch heists are very. This, I think, is a huge strength that the first Payday game had over Payday 2. Even though Payday 2 is like now like the best one ever, before any updates to Payday 2, the heists in that game weren't as varied compared to the first game. This is probably due to the way the economy works in Payday 2, with most missions having you constantly juggling loot bags, which resulted in some launch heists in Payday 2 to get a little stale sometimes. When compared to the first Payday, you had a typical bank robbery heist, rescuing a prisoner on a bridge, chasing an asshole down the streets of Washington DC, and interrogating a guy for information in order to progress through that specific heist. Payday 2 at launch just had a bank with varied loot, a jewelry store, a heist called Four Stores, which might as well be a variation of the jewelry store, and a nightclub heist. The only varied heists that are a little unique to Payday 2 are Firestarter, Framing Frame, Watchdogs, and Big Oil. Firestarter had you robbing weapons from the cartel, then infiltrating an FBI building to steal a server, and then burning the money of that cartel. Framing Frame had you steal paintings from an art museum, then delivering those paintings to the contractor that wanted them in an abandoned train yard, and then you had to sneak cocaine into someone's home in order to frame them. Watch Dogs is all about holding out for two phases and deliver cocaine to the contractor while fighting against endless waves of cops. Finally, Big Oil had you stealing some blueprints from a biker gang and then you had to raid someone's homes to find the correct engine and steal it. The problem with these heists is that the end game is all the same. You go in, find and steal multiple loot bags and bring it back to your escape vehicle. So Overkill can make varied heists, they have the talent, it's just all about nailing it at launch and rewarding players in different ways besides just stealing the same loot bags over and over again. Now moving on to one of Payday 2's biggest strengths that I want to see continue going into Payday 3. And that being the fucking shitload of fucking weapons are, that are in Payday 2. More guns equals more fun. On top of that there is a shit ton of attachments you can customize your weapons with. With that being said though, there is one criticism I have about the overabundance of weapons and attachments that I hope Overkill keeps in mind going into Payday 3. That being, after Payday 2 kept getting updated, at some point, while there are a lot of weapons, some became either obsolete or redundant in terms of performance. Same goes for attachments. Some attachments were objectively better than others. There was no thought process of, oh, this attachment might be good for this gun, but this other attachment, while probably useless, might be more useful depending on your weapon configuration or on another gun entirely. There's also some weapons in Payday 2 that where there's just like 3 AKs and like 3 M4s. Which at that point, why not just make 1 AK and 1 M4 and give us a lot of attachments so we can configure them the way we want to. So going into Payday 3, uh, keep giving us a lot of weapons, but make sure each gun has its niche, and maybe more unique attachments. Look into Black Ops 4 for inspiration, you'll see what I mean. Now I guess the last thing I want to see return from Payday 2 is the skill tree system. The skill trees were excellent, and definitely added a lot of depth to the gameplay. I'm not sure how I feel about the perk deck system, as I kind of find them indifferent, and I'm not really sure how I feel about them, but the skill tree system for sure needs to make a return. Probably a controversial opinion that I have is I wouldn't mind over if Overkill decides to lock skill trees depending on the character you choose. Controversial I know, but I wouldn't mind if that happened. Some other smaller things I'd like to see make a comeback are customizable masks, weapon skins which were added later during Payday 2's life cycle, and bring back the customizable music that we have in Payday 2. Seriously, the music in Payday is awesome and I hope I can customize music tracks when Payday 3 comes out. Now those are pretty much most of the positives I'd like to see from Payday 1 and 2 going into Payday 3. Uh, as far as the progression system goes, I mean, I think the previous games did that well, and I would be okay with whatever they got planned for Payday 3, so I wouldn't worry too much with the progression system. 
Oh fuck, I just remembered one more thing I'd like to see from Payday 2. And that's the live action stuff they did with their trailers. Around when Payday 2 came out, there was supposed to be a web series. There's kind of like a season 1 of it, but they never continued it after that. So I kind of hope they keep going with the live action trailer stuff. And maybe come up with a TV series someday, I don't know. Keep up with the live action stuff, Overkill. Those were great when it came to like adding in new DLC in Payday 2. The Hoxton Breakout live action is still my favorite one to this day. And then my second favorite live action ad adaptation would be the uh, the first episode of the web series where uh, the, the gang goes into First World Bank and you could see in live action with uh, the new Hoxton. So I thought that was really cool. If anything, if there's one thing I don't want to see from Payday 2 is the card system. Which, you get to pick a card at the end of each heist, and it's just a random number generator, depending on what cosmetic you get. The progression system is one thing, but then it's just like, you know, the, uh, these days with, with video games, you gotta worry about monetization, since with the whole battle pass and uh, in-game store. I mean, Payday 2 had a lot of uh, paid DLC, like a lot, and chances are, uh, Overkill may not do that model anymore, and so it, it begs the question, as if anything, the only thing I worry about Payday 3 is how it's going to be monetized. If, if it is the way we expect, I don't know. Obviously Overkill needs to make their money back, and as far as how they, they could do that, I mean, selling cosmetics is never a bad idea. It's just the problem with me saying that is that the... I don't know, probably publishers, developers, whoever. The problem is, like, they're usually overpriced as fuck. They're usually, like, in 20 to $30 bundles. Titanfall 2, to this day, is still a prime example of how to do an in-game store, where, like, you pay for weapon skins that are, like, $3. Or you pay for a skin pack for, like, 5 bucks, Or, like, a bundle that is, at most, just $10. These days, monetization and live service bullshit is... A battle pass that you gotta pay every three months or whatever for ten dollars, and then an in-game store where all the cosmetics are fucking twenty bucks. Then you got fucking Halo Infinite and Overwatch 2 with challenge-based progression systems. Other than the monetization model, which worries me going into Payday 3, uh, back on the positive light, it seems like going into Payday 3, the game is gonna be updated simultaneously, both PC and console. Because before, if you didn't play Payday 2, uh, Payday 2 was updated separately between PC and console, so PC was always constantly getting updated while the console version was always lacking behind. So it seems like they're aware of that, and this time both console and PC are going to be updated together. And I do actually expect crossplay. I think crossplay might be a good reality going into Payday 3. They haven't commented on crossplay, but I'm very positive that feature is going to come with the game. And I think that's going to do it for this video, so before it ends real quick, here are a few screenshots of Payday 3. Some of this is in-game, and most of this is actually concept art. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and make sure to share this with anyone who is looking forward to Payday 3. Links to my shit are down in the description, and let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on Payday 3. And until next time, peace.